Okay, in the Serie A today, it was the Derby d'Italia, first against second, where if Juve had won, they would have leapfrogged Inter in the standings, and if Inter had won, they would have gone five points clear. But even though it was two lovely goals, it was one each. 1-1, one, one, it finished with goals from Dusan Vlavic and Lautaro Martinez. Nice goals as well they were, Gab. Marcotti, who's joining us now to talk more about it. What's your biggest takeaway from it, Gab? Well, the biggest takeaway is I think it's pretty evident that Max Allegri and Juve right now feel that uh, if they win the title this year or if they come close, it's going to be could be because they shut up shop and uh, and they outlast the opposition. And, and I thought they did a decent job of it here. Again, if you were to award a winner in this game on points, on chances created, it would probably be Inter. It would probably be Inter who were, you know, bolder towards the end of the game when he made his usual uh, attacking substitutions that Inzaghi likes. But Allegri, he's not going to budge from this. He's got Vlaovic back in, which was really good news, I think, for Juve. Um, and I thought he did okay. Uh, more than okay, actually. Um, he's got Chiesa, who's hot. And still, you know, it's uh, it's safety first. But hey, they're second at the table, right? Uh, as for Inter, Lautaro Martinez just cannot stop scoring, Gab. Yeah, Lautaro is, uh, is, is, is he's in a tremendous vein of form. There was one moment when everybody got, uh, got terrified uh, when, uh, when, when it, looked like, it looked like he was injured. Early indications are he's going to be okay. Um, he is, I mean, I think his numbers pretty much speak for himself around Europe. But, but really, I think it's, this, it's the supporting cast around him. It's, uh, it's Marcus Turam who, you know, provides a lot of the running, opens a lot of the space for Lautaro. And, uh, and it's those wingbacks. You know, Denzel Dumfries, I think, has gone to the next level. Fede Di Marco already there. For me, you know, one of the top three or four wingbacks in the world. And, and really, they're such a big part of how Inter, how Inter attack. OK, Gab, what can we look forward to then, other than this game on the Gab and Jules podcast tomorrow? Well, um, I'm on assignment in Milan. Oh. Um, uh, oh, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Uh, ahead of the no, Champions League. You've got to change the name of the Gabon Juice oh, podcast. It's, it's on Champions League juice. Look at that never on. Oh, man. It's, Who's filling in? Hey, hey, I'm not on holiday, man. You guys get made him. You should be happy. <laughs> you get oh, made him. Oh, Nadeem's on. Does he know? Does he need him a Juice podcast? True professional. Ah, uh, true uh, professional. What, what, what are you up to, Gab? Uh, You're on Champions League duty. I, I am. I'm going to Milan and meeting some people. Uh, at the club, meeting some people at Inter, and then uh, I'll be, uh, I'm going to go see my mom, which of course always very nice, and then uh, I'll be uh, I'll be at the Milan Borussia Dortmund game, where I think, on paper at least, it's almost like, uh, you know, and whoever wins this game, I think, is ideally placed to uh, to advance to the next round. So so stay tuned after that, that, that pretty remarkable uh, Milan win with that last-minute Mike uh, magic Mike Mignon save uh, on Saturday night. Of course, them getting the win uh, heading into this. Yeah, we will be staying tuned, and there'll be a lot of talk about the Champions League, no doubt, on the next Gavin Jules podcast, even though well, Gavin won't be on it. Nadim's going to bring the vibes, don't worry. <laughs>